A reading from the prophet Zechariah. Chapter 8, verses 1 to 8. The word of the Lord of hosts was addressed to me as follows. The Lord of hosts says this, I am burning with jealousy for Zion, with great anger for her sake. The Lord of hosts says this, I am coming back to Zion and shall dwell in the middle of Jerusalem. Jerusalem will be called Faithful City and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. The Lord of hosts says this, Old men and old women will again sit down in the squares of Jerusalem. Every one of them staff in hand because of their great age, and the squares of the city will be full of boys and girls playing in the squares. The Lord of hosts says this, If this seems a miracle to the ram remnant of this people in those days, will it seem one to me? It is the Lord of hosts who speaks. The Lord of hosts says this, now I am going to save my people from the countries of the east and from the countries of the west. I will bring them back to live inside Jerusalem. They shall be my people and I will be their God in faithfulness and integrity. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Response The Lord shall build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The Lord shall build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The nation shall fear the name of the Lord and all the earth's kings your glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion again and appear in all his glory, then he will turn to the prayers of the helpless. He will not despise their prayers. Response. The Lord shall build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Let this be written for ages to come, that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord leaned down from his sanctuary on high. He looked down from heaven to the earth that he might hear the groans of the prisoners and free those condemned to die. Response. The Lord shall build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The sons of your servants shall dwell untroubled, and their race shall endure before you, that the name of the Lord may be proclaimed in Zion and his praise in the heart of Jerusalem when peoples and kingdoms are gathered together to pay their homage to the Lord. Response The Lord shall build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia! Give thanks to the Lord, all his hosts, his servants who do his will. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 18, verses 1 to 5 and 10. The disciples came to Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? So he called a little child to him and set the child in front of them. Then he said, I tell you solemnly, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. And so, the one who makes himself as little as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Anyone who welcomes a little child like this in my name, welcomes me. 
See that you never despise any one of these little ones. For I tell you that their angels in heaven are continually in the presence of my Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, on this feast of the holy guardian angels, God is telling each one of us that he cares for us. Especially today, Jesus is telling us that he cares for us individually through our guardian angels, through our guardian angels. Do we believe personally that God cares for me? To believe is a great gift of faith. We are asked to trust God like little children. How can I change and become like little child? Let us take this question to our heart as it carries an invitation from Jesus. Let each one of us, let the childlike characters of trust, joy, wonder and fun speak to us God's love and protection in and through our guardian angels. Amen. <laughs>